Okay, so what we have here is a grip and rotate tool that we did for the forging industry. What they want to do is be able to pick up these gears that you see on the table, rotate them 180 degrees, and place them into a lathe so that they can finish each side. Uh, we've got gears here that are 30 to 80, 90 pounds, somewhere in that range. This is a 100 pound capacity tool, so we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of capacity you can do. We've got it on a Gorbel Easy Arm. Now I'm going to show you the operation of the tool first and then we'll go into the easy arm as well. So you see there, we pick up the car, there's a center of gravity shift. You might have also heard that popping noise. That is our gripper safety circuit. Get a little closer to the camera so you can see. We've got our up-down controls here. We've got the grip and release on this side. Like I mentioned, that popping noise, that's our gripper safety circuit, so you are not gonna drop the part. I'm hitting that release button, this part is secure. If you lose plan air, you're not gonna drop it, or if you inadvertently hit the release button, you will not drop it. Uh, you'll also see that go back into effect when I place the part down. While we're here, I wanted to show you the uh, float mode. So you hit this G-force button, it starts to record the data. Now we can take this part, do it by hand. You can also rotate it. While it's in float mode, so say I wanted to reach into that machine, get it real precise. I mean, I'm touching this thing with a pound or two of force. I can place that right in. It's perfect. To get out of that float mode, again, I'm barely moving this thing. And you can grab by the part, grab by the tool, whatever you need to do. Get it out of float mode. Also, show you, you can go up and, up and down with it. Again, I'm barely touching it. Pound or two of force, this thing is completely within my control. To get out of float mode, all you do is jog one of these levers. Here we go, we're back to pendant control. I'm gonna rotate it back. Got 180 degrees of rotation. Uh, cool feature over here that we did was put the uh, labels on it. So you got counterclockwise and clockwise. Shows you which way you're gonna go. Ro rotate it back to zero. that popping this group of safety circuit it is now safe to release. One thing we did with this tool is that we made it so that the grip jaws, you can jog them. So we're releasing it, it's it even bigger. One thing that we do want to show you is this uh, floating handle, so you can always keep your hands in a maintained ergonomic position. Not going to have to bend down. Right there at your chest level. Another, another thing I want to show you, uh, since I mentioned it earlier in the video, this tool is suspended from a Gorbel Easy Arm. It's a nice articulating jib crane so that you can get all the way into the column. It gives you a lot of flexibility to work so. This is on a 330 pound easy arm. That's how it's connected with the G-Force, which is uh, mast mounted, so you don't have that hoist that you're fighting the whole time when you're trying to go in and out. Again, it gives you that easy movement within a cell. That is what our tool is suspended from, integrated with. Going to the biggest part, this is about 80 pounds. Again, I'm going to rotate it both ways, 90 degrees clockwise, and 180 back the other way. If you have any questions, please contact us online at ergonomicpartners.com or give us a call.